بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آج ہم ہیمٹ اکویشن کا پارٹ نمبر تھرڈ دیکھیں گے ایٹلیٹ دا پوائنٹ کلاس آلریڈی ہم نے پارٹ نمبر ون اینڈ پارٹ نمبر ٹو میں اس کو ڈسکس کیا ہوا ہے بٹ ٹوڈے آئی ول بی فوکسنگ آن دا پوائنٹ دیٹ ہیمٹ اکویشن از کال ایز لینئر فری انرجی ریلیشن شپ سو یو کین سی ہیئر لینئر فری انرجی ریلیشن شپ سو یور ہیمٹ اکویشن از لینئر free energy relationship so it's a linear free energy relationship so my focus today will be that why we call it linear free energy relationship to the point before we'll move to our uh, main point i'll just write down the equation back what was actually the hamet equation we wrote in the previous classes that is logarithm of the ratio of rate constants that's kx and kh what that means the rate constant of a reaction when there was a substituent in the benzene ring to the rate constant when there is no substituent means simple h that is related to sigma x multiplied by rho x تو سگما دیٹ واز دا سبسٹیچونٹ کانسٹنٹ آپ کے بینزین رگ میں اگر سبسٹیچونٹ ہے تو ہاؤ اٹ ایفیکٹ دا ریٹ آف ریئیکشن سو دیٹ انڈیکیٹس گیوز اس ایڈیا اباؤٹ دی الیکٹرانک ایفیکٹس اینڈ دا رو ایکس گیوز اس ایڈیا اباؤٹ دا ریئیکشن کانسٹنٹ اٹس آلسو کال ایز دی اٹ گیوز اس ایڈیا اباؤٹ دا ٹرانزیشن اسٹیٹ آف دیٹ پرٹیکولر ریئیکشن ٹھیک سو آئی ول جسٹ رائٹ ڈاؤن جو ہم نے ریئیکشن اسٹارٹ کی تھی ایز پر دی ہیمٹ دا ڈسوسیشن آف بینزوائک ایسڈ ود سبسٹیچونٹس ایٹ دی meta and the para position so this was your benzoic acid then you dissociate that then what you get is this is substituents at meta and para position and then it dissociates likely you can take any type of reaction whether it is solovolysis whether it is a uh, hydrolysis nucleophilic substitution type reactions you can utilize the data what actually was said by the ہیمٹ یو کین یوٹلائز دی کانسیپٹ تو یہاں پہ ہم نے کیا کہا تھا فار دس ریئیکشن اف دس سبسٹیونٹ از پریزنٹ ہاؤ اٹ ایفیکٹ دا ریٹ آف دا ریئیکشن فار ایگزامپل ان دس کیس اٹ از دی ڈسوسیشن آف کاربوکسلک ایسڈ سو ریشو آف دیٹ کے ایکس ریٹ کانسٹنٹ ڈیوائڈ بائی کے ایچ ایچ مینز وین دیر از ایچ ایچ پریزنٹ ہیئر سو دیٹ مینز ان نان سبسٹیوٹ اٹس ناٹ سبسٹیوٹڈ سو دیٹ ڈپینڈس آن ٹو ٹرمز نمبر ون اٹ ڈپینڈس آن سگما دیٹ گیوز یو ایڈیا اباؤٹ دی الیکٹرانک ایفیکٹس دیٹ از دا سبسٹیونٹس and this rho x reaction constant are it gives you idea about the transition state through which that particular reaction passes now we have already discussed kiya in the part number 1 and part number 2 what is today's question why it's a linear free energy relationship dekhiye okay. i will just put a point let's plot a graph here so whenever you read this hamet equation you have the graphs let me put up a graph here so uh, for you i will i'm plotting this graph So if we plot here a graph between, I know that when you go through the literature, there are many ways people have discussed these plots, but I will just make it so simple. So this is a graph between this ratio, that's log of kx by kh versus the sigma factor. So when you plot a graph, you get a linear relationship. No matter what the slope is, but you get a linear relationship. Take linear means a straight line graph you'll get. So for example, I will show it. Let's say you have this type of graph. So plot of this ratio, logarithm of kx by kh versus rho x, so sorry, sigma x, we'll get a linear graph. Okay? Let me make the scale, a rough scale. This is, uh, we'll keep this as zero. on this side we have positive values of rho humne ye discuss bhi kiya hai ki for example in this reaction since we have a negative charge is developed here in the transition state electron withdrawing groups will take away that electron density they will stabilize it so electron withdrawing groups will stabilize the transition state they will bring down the activation energy or free energy so as the rate of reaction increases so that means there will be positive value of this for your uh, electron withdrawing substitute so we'll keep both positive and negative here on this side we have 
let's say 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 and on this side we will keep minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.4, minus 0 0.6 and this is let's say uh, minus 0 0.8 so this there are different row values and these are the logarithmic value let's say the ratio is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, it's minus uh, 1, sorry, plus 1, now it becomes positive, you see you can keep positives, 2, 3, 4, and so on, okay, so what, what actually this plot means is that you have, you are basically using various substitutes in the ring, and then you try to see the effect on the for example, in this case, acidity. Now, here the plot, uh, this is not for benzoic acid. This has been uh, done by some uh, research work done by some of the research uh, persons. So, what they are using, they are using this type of acid. And instead of this, they are using sulfur instead of oxygen. So, this, this is basically your dithiobenzoic acid. Dithiobenzoic acid acid so obviously when you dissociate this it will get dissociated as per this mechanism so you have s and you have s negative so this data is did you grab the current this is basically for uh, this acid diethylbenzoic acid similar to this and then they put the substituents here to understand the effect of substituents so what actually this graph means so on this for example, let's say we you use initially the substituent NH2. Your substituent was NH2 at this group. So presence of NH2, how it affects the rate of this reaction? Number one. Likely, then uh, let's say we have hydrogen, it's here. This is hydrogen. That means when it is unsubstituted. So this is how actually the uh, the log of K by Kx varies. Like then you change the substituent, you go to methoxy group. Or you, let's say you go to chloride group, Cl, rather making it simple, this is Cl, this is hydrogen. So rate of reaction now increases, it goes towards now, increase. Likely you put like substituent electron, um, highly withdrawing group like Cn, cyanide group. And then likely you can go with the nitro and so on, and so on. So what it actually means is that when you have this, nit this NH2 group present, so this is the rate constant when there was nitro group because ni sorry NH2 group NH2 group has sigma value let's say it's point minus point 0.8 likely when you put hydrogen that means we don't have the substitute actually so the rate constant is increasing likely you put Cl which has positive value of sigma because it also acts as electron withdrawing this is what is the value of your rate constant and then when you have cyanide group in the ring I remember at meta and para substitutes, not at the ortho substitute because of the ortho effect which we have discussed. So you have the, I should say, the reaction rate is very very high. So when you have the substitute like cyanide which has positive value of rho, yep, sorry sigma, the positive value of sigma and negative value of sigma, this we have discussed. So this is, uh, need not to go it again. So what actually I am trying to say that, what is this Hammett equation? Why is it called a linear free energy relationship? Because if you take any two, any two uh, benzoic acid derivatives, any type of reaction you have, and you you take the two benzoic acid derivatives, one is unsubstituted, and the next one is the substituted derivative. So what happens that the log of Kx by Kh that is directly proportional to the Sigma x. So you will always get a linear relationship. That plot will be a linear plot. So this is basically also this data plot here. It's also called as the Hamid plot. So you can call it as Hamid plot. Up here to have plot here. If you want to calculate the slope of this plot, let's say I want to calculate the slope of this plot. This is the theta. So the slope of this plot that gives you your this row value so slope of plot gives you the row value so you have the Hamid plot you can calculate 
the reaction constant or you can calculate that this parameter that gives you idea about the transition state of the reaction now important thing is here that if rho has a plus value and rho can have the minus value also depending on what type of transition state is now plus value if it is and then at the same time the the magnitude of that plus value is very very high so that also gives you idea about the type of reaction for example i will take one example if you have a reaction now this type of reaction where we have a halogen atom present here and you treat this let's say with uh, ethanol so what happens this x will get replaced by this ethoxide group this is some sort of uh, nucleophilic uh, substitution reaction sorry this is some sort of the halide substitution or you call it solvolysis so what you will get you will get this x replaced by ethoxy group now for this reaction if you if you see the data the rho value has was found to be 0.5 remember the rho value was found to be uh, the so not 0.5 it was found to be 5 now 5 value means it's a huge value so the magnitude when the magnitude of that particular value increases increases so what it indicates that that this reaction actually has passed through carbocation formation that means that this reaction is sn21 mechanism it because this simply nucleophilic replacement this nucleophilic gets substituted by another nucleophilic nucleophile so this nucleophilic substitution and we know nucleophilic substitution can be sn1 s2 likely sni internal so this the value the more positive value magnitude of that value sorry not positive value magnitude of value gives you idea about the type of mechanism it follows also anyway so that will go as beyond the scope so can i say it means that from this hemit plot the slope will give you the value of your rho x and that will give you idea about what the type of transition state the reaction was having whether the transition state was having negative slope positive slope what kind of you know the uh, the, uh, the uh, how the reactants and products are behaving at that particular transition state now in general i will just sum it up what actually this linear relationship is in a nutshell so for any reactions i will write down a statement for any reaction for any two reactions because we are comparing for any two reactions with aromatic reactants that is important aromatic reactants for any two reactions with aromatic reactants and those aromatic reactants they should differ in differing in differing only in the type of substituent differing only in the type of substitute yani aap koi bhi reaction study kar rahe ho and then us reaction mein aapki jo reactants hai do reactants two reactions wo jo reactants hai unme difference kya hogi they also differ in the type of substituent now for that case the change in the free energy of activation so you can remember the change in the free energy of activation that we show by this way that is proportional to proportional to the gibbs free energy change delta g now ye important hai this is why it is called as a linear free energy relationship and because of this the uh, free energy of activation this this term free energy of activation it's proportional to the gibbs free energy change you will get this linear plot theek now gibbs free energy you know that you have might have read this in the you know thermodynamics the delta g is called h minus t s so this actually gives you idea about the amount of work you can obtain from the system and delta g is the free energy of activation now that gives you idea about the rate of the reaction if you remember that just i will just plot another simple graph so you plot a graph between the free energy and the reaction coordinate this is your reactant this is product and then every reaction you know it passes through this energy barrier but this is your transition state 
and this energy that is your free energy of activation so for any reactions for any two reactions with aromatic substituents differing in the type of only sub sorry for any two reactions with aromatic which contain aromatic ring and those uh, reactants they differ in the type of substituents only for this reaction the free energy of activation is always proportional to the free energy of you know, Gibbs free energy change so because of that when you plot the log of kx by kh you will versus sigma you will get a linear plot and that linear plot the slope of that particular plot will give you the rho that is the reaction constant r it gives it's a major it gives you idea about the transition state of the reaction so this was all about the basic data which i tried to sum up to make it easy i don't know how much justice i could do this with this topic but uh, keeping in uh, mind the amount of time i took almost this is the third week first week i did the first part this is second week second part we did in the last week and this is third so uh, I, you can also understand the time i have you know i i was the, in the busy schedules but anyhow many kush kiye ki sama we should go uh, it should be benefit to the students so thank you so if still there is some question you can communicate through the uh, maybe a whatsapp message or you can write down 8491857406 you can write down the whatsapp message or you can write down the comments so uh, thank you this is what we have for this uh, hamid equation